Hi, this is the Sports Widow. So we're all getting ready for one big thing, right? It's that big event called Thanksgiving. And it's just an endless four-day weekend of food, family, and something that the Wampanoags and the Pilgrims 400 years ago were not having to contend with. And that is, what do you think? Serving up a lot of football and a lot of baseball, or basketball, sorry, baseball's gone. So, I want to help you try to figure out a strategy as a sports widow for survival. And I've got seven tips for you. Number one, you're not alone, okay? No matter how you may feel, you are not alone. There are 40 million of us, and we're all trying to get through Thanksgiving and some of these other sports-dominated holidays. Number two, establish the rules of the game. You gotta sit down with that sports fan days before Thanksgiving and talk about what's important. What are what's the big priority in terms of sports for the weekend? That way you're not getting Shanghai right in the middle of your meal. Number three, establish a policy of containment with your TV. These open floor plans are killers when it comes to the sports widow. Try to find a place where you can put the TV and have everyone who wants to watch TV congregate, so that the other folks who don't want to be involved in that can have a chance to talk without shouting over the TV. Number four, schedule your fans' participation early. Knowing that they completely zone out in the lazy boy later on, and they're kind of in that crypto fan torpor, you know what you gotta do? You gotta schedule those honeydews early on and make sure that they get those accomplished. That way you don't feel bitterness later on. Schedule number five, a whole family activity. Something that you can do to run around and get some exercise. I don't even mind flag football. A lot of times I play without the flag, too. Number six, schedule me time. That is critical. You're definitely going to have to get away, go for a walk with friends, go to Starbucks, get a soy chai. That's my personal favorite. And then the last one, number seven, throw them a bone. What I plan to do with my husband is I'm going to ask about a game that he might care about, that he thinks is really fun. I'm going to try to watch it a little bit, see if maybe I can learn something. Or we may rent one of the old, one, a really good classic football movie that has a good plot, or a basketball movie. So that's my strategy for Thanksgiving, and I hope you take it. Remember, life is a contact sport. So seize the remote, get out of the game, get in the game, do whatever you want. This is the Sports Widow signing off.